Today we're adding the Murders at Carla Manor standard to throw a pre-release promo directly at our opponent's face. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition, and our first Murders at Garlov Manor edition of Against the Odds, and we have a sweet one this week. This is actually the very first deck that I decided to build during Murders at Garlov Manor spoiler season, and it's built around a card that isn't even kind of technically in the set. It's built around Melic Reforge Researcher, which is one of those weird pre-release promos that's like not in packs but comes in your pre-release pack but you can't play it at your pre-release but it's legal and standard who knows where magic cards come from these days it's all a mystery to be but malik is a really sweet card it's a five minute star star it ramps our instants and sorceries the first one we cast each turn costs three less to cast the big deal is its power and toughness is equal to twice the number of instants and sorcery cards in our graveyard we've had many cards in magic's past that have power equal to the number of instants and sorceries in our graveyard, Melek's the first creature that doubles that up. So what this means is it only takes 10 instants and sorceries in the graveyard for Melek to be a 20-20, and our deck can do that really quickly. We're playing all these card droid cantrippy effects that are cheap spells that go in the graveyard and also let us discard cards like Chart of Course, Thirst for Discovery, Big Score, Consider, Intrude on the Mind. Oh, that card is so good. Uh, the reverse factor fiction that leaves behind a body also stocks our graveyard. So these cards quickly stock our graveyard to grow our Melek because the plan of our deck is actually pretty simple. There's two ways of winning. So the boring way to win is get a bunch of spells in our graveyard and then use something like Ill-Timed Explosion or Burn Down the House to wipe away our opponent's board and then just attack with a 20-20 Melek and win the game with one shot attacking. The Burn Down the House Ill-Timed Explosion along with Fading Hope also just help us stay alive while we're getting things set up, growing our Melek, finding our Melek. Uh, we also have some counters to help protect our Melek and slow our opponent down, but the real kill is Melek Flame. We have Melek and our one other creature in the deck is Callus Sellsword. But Callus Sellsword, we never actually guessed as a creature. We're playing it for the burn together half, which is essentially a weird take on Thud, which itself is a sorcery speed take on Fling. But essentially, it allows us to sack our Melek and deal damage equal to its power to any target. So we just get 10 or more spells in the graveyard. We play Melek, we Callus Sellsword for one mana, throw it at our opponent's face, the game ends on the spot. And it's actually super easy to do because of how quickly Melek grows. In this deck, it's very realistic that Melek could end up being like a 50-50 for five. Like it is actually an absurd creature. So that's the plan of the deck. Sling a bunch of spells, fill the graveyard, Melek fling all in one turn, make you die in the spot. Mana base, pretty typical stuff. This is a really good surveil land deck. We don't mind playing a tap land and it fills the graveyard with spells to grow our Melek. In the sideboard, a bunch of removal for aggro, Jason negates to deal with control decks. And that is Melek Fling for Murders at Karloff Manor Standard. That's our Gets the Odds deck for this week. So let's jump into some games and see if we can win by throwing the biggest Melek at our opponent's face. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll be back in a bit for the wrap up. Need some magic cards? Well, you can snag them from our sponsor, Card Kingdom, over at cardkingdom.com slash mtggoldfish. We've got new tokens and playmats, and you can even get the tokens signed if you want. Check them all out over at mtggoldfishmerch.com. Against the odds time, we are playing some Melic Fling in New Standard, and we're going to keep this. We're not doing much in the early game. Yeah, we're going to mill Intrude number two. Intrude's so good. I love this card. A little nervous that we're... Oh boy, that's another intrude. A little nervous that our hand's so slow, but as long as we hit our lands, like we got a sweeper into double intrude and then eventually Melek. Uh, we'll play the land. All right, no, how about no Rafine? Actually, I guess Rafine's fine because we can just ill timed explosion it. Opponent, Shattered Shanktum. Ooh, Elquist Prof A. Well, play the land, ill timed explosion. Do we wish to discard? Discard negate, burn down the house. Kill the Elquist. So if we draw an untap land, which would be the best, do we get to intrude next turn? Now, well, big scores, big score is not the worst. It is a little risky against counters, but, and our opponent could be playing counters. We'll see what our opponent does. Okay. More clues. Well, let's, uh, let's big score. 
Discard the Kalos Cell Sword for now. We'll find another one. Well, we found another one right away. How big is our Melek? 10-10 at the moment. All right. Um, well, let's chart a course. See if we can hit our land drop. Oh, how close? Are we? We're getting close. We're getting close to the fling kill here. Um, let's discard the Thundering Falls. Play a Tuara. We're not going to run out Melek yet. We're going to wait for our opponent to crack this clue, and then we're going to intrude... Wow, opponent didn't even crack the glue. Interesting. So they didn't want to counter the big score. Well, we're going to intrude now. All right, there's the negate. Sure. Malik's up to 14 14. Pona hits us down to 17. Yeah, let's just pass. I mean, we're getting to the point where we just need to get our opponent tapped down and we can combo kill here. Opponent's going to crack a clue. Well, let's intrude. So, how do we do this? How much mana do we have right now? Two. So, consider... So, split the big score in the Thirst. Maybe like this? Thirst in two lands versus big score, consider? I think that's fine. Okay, they mill the lands and... They mill the lands. And the Thirst. Malik's up to 18-18. We might have the win next turn. We just got to get our opponent tapped down. Long goodbye. Sure. Well, this is actually perfect. Because what we want to do is bounce this Elquist and then have our opponent replay it. And then they're tapped out. And then we get the, the fling kill. All right. Pick it up. We get to scry. We'll keep a make disappear. Replay it. Replay it. Game. Game. That's game, right? That's a 20-20. Opponent gets a clue. But uh, we get to consider, we're just gonna mill this make disappear now. I mean, this is just, it's game, it's game. That is the Malik flink kill. We draw an island, Malik's up to 24, 24. Play the land, play the Malik. Uh, kill a cell sword and death. <laughs> Too easy. <laughs> Too easy. Malik might actually be legit. Like we've never had a creature that scaled double the number of instants and sorceries in our graveyard, right? We've just never had that before, and that is a really powerful effect. The question now is, our opponent is pretty controlling. We saw negates in the main deck. Do we bring in more counters to try to force through our combo? Do we bring in the Jaces? The Jaces seem good. I think we gotta bring in Jaces. Jaces and negates, maybe? Or do we try to bring in more removal? We didn't really get a sense. So all we saw was Elquist in a negate, really. We didn't really get a sense whether our opponent's like a control deck or more of an Esper mid-range style deck. Let's try something like this. Well, game one went pretty well. I mean, that's the pot. Like, that's all we need. We need that one window. We just like cast spells, draw cards, fill our graveyard, then get a six mana Malik Fling game. The only issue is removal can fizzle it, right? So we do need to be able to protect the combo, essentially, or get our opponent tapped down because th that's the one downside of our current standard fling, the adventure fling. Wow, no lands. Is you can actually just kill it, kill the creature in response to the fling, which is awkward. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, Kalos Elsword can go bottom for now. We don't need that yet. Opponent starts on the tap land. Well, Shiv and Reef, go. Opponent, tap land. Well, land and chart, of course. Discard a big score, I think. Big score is really good. The treasures are really helpful, but also risky against uh, counter spells. Well, play the land past the turn. Leave up, make disappear. At this point, we just mostly want to keep hitting our lands. Well, let's consider. Keep the island. Intrude on the mind has really impressed me. This card's very good. Very, very good. Pona tap land. Passing. Well, let's let's just consider. We could big score, but getting it counter is painful. Um, ooh, do we want to negate? Ooh. The only problem is if we miss our land drop, it's... Oh, we gotta keep it. We gotta keep the negate. Hopefully we just draw land. A oh, fading hope. All right, awkward. Actually, what's the worst that happens? Yeah, we're just gonna pass. I was thinking about just ill-timed explosion to draw to, but... We are gonna try to big score. Discarding a fading hope. If they counter it, they counter it. At least that's a counter out of their hand. All right, so there's the disdainful stroke. Pointed down to four cards. 
Burn down the house. I wish we were drawing lands. Lands so we could take in a uh, intrude on the mind during our opponent's turn would be super helpful. Opponent land. Ashiok. Well, definitely negating that. Well, now I think we have to do this, unfortunately. We just need to hit a land. All right. Oh, we, uh, we are not going to discard. Play the Storm Carp Coast. Hopefully there's not another Ashiok. We are shields down at the moment. I guess burn down the house might be able to... Ooh, yes, yes, do that, please. Opponent fires up their land. Fading hope it. Ill-timed explosion. Gonna go bottom. Okay, we're, we're in a pretty good spot. Ooh, all right. Another land is nice. Play the Thundering Falls. We'll keep the Jace. We're in a pretty good spot because we get to start casting these Intrudes. And it's a really good way to pressure counters. Like, yes, our opponent can counter it. Ooh. All right, they're just going to get in with a Reef. Well, let's Intrude. All right, opponent found another counter. Mill some cards, which actually helps grow our dorks. One, two, three. Well, play Shiv and Reef. Uh, let's do this manually. Actually, do we need to leave up? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to burn down the house for tokens. <clears throat> I think attack with a couple of them. So this gives us a blocker for the reef, and it gives us fodder for the make disappear, which is relevant here. Yeah, I guess we can't actually stop that. We don't want our opponent to Sphinx's Rev, though. That would be bad. Opponent passes. Thundering Falls. Actually, maybe if they end up doing it, it's fine. We could ill-timed Explosion. Well, let's Thundering Falls. I mean, I think we gotta keep this. Keep the Cell Sword. We're just gonna pass. If they do want a Sphinx's Rev, it's uh, going to eat up all their mana. So hopefully we can punish them by winning the game in response, is the, the theory at least. I mean, we're going to double block. Okay, so they bounce a Devil. So let's let them keep the Elquist. We'll ping their face. Well, let's intrude. Yeah, I guess that's our best bet. Okay, opponent, apparently afraid of the combo. Uh, we untap. Now let's burn down the house to make devils. Uh, we're not Meliking, but we might actually be winning. Go to combat, get in, hit ya. I think we gotta be the aggro, really. Opponent, down to 13. So they can sack the clue to draw to gain two. All right, they're gonna just pass. So he can Sphinx his rev for five with the Elquist. Yeah, I think we make disappear it. Sacking a devil. Paying ya. See if our opponent has even more counters. Alright, so opponent's gonna let it go. Drops to 12. Do we bounce the Elquist is the question. Try this again. Block and block. We really don't want this Elquist to... Okay, this is big. This is big. Uh, they might have another one in hand, but we really want to avoid the Sphinx's Rev. That's the main the main goal here. All right, so Elquist down. Do you have another one? No. All right, so we get to untap. That is Melek. It is a 32-32. We do not currently have a fling. We do have a negate. And I think we do. All right, let's play Malik. Big. It's a big one. Get down the Malik. This might just be the Malik beatdown. Get in with the Thopter. So we have a negate and a fading hope to protect Malik. Opponent's gonna ley line binding. Actually, you know what? Let's just negate it. <laughs> Malik's up to a fifth. Malik gets so big so fast. Malik up to 34-34. Do you have removal? Do you have a blocker? I mean, I guess they can block with a creature land. That's really painful, though. Deadly cover up. There's no Melek in our graveyard. Okay, so we're going to just bounce the Melek. So the opponent gets our Thopter. They can get rid of all of our flings, I guess. And then we're gonna have to win by beating down. So our opponent's pretty controlly. They're pretty. They're pretty much as per control. What are they? Okay, they're gonna exile our flings. Well, I mean, that's annoying. That does mean we're gonna have to do it the hard way. 
Opponent's last card is a Deep Cavern Bat. Well, I assume they... Okay, they take the Malak. How many cards in the graveyard? Oh my god, okay. Well, let's full price a Jace. Mill our opponent. Draw three. Play the land. I'd really love to get in one more Jace draw. Yeah, I think we just pass. I think we just pass. If they fire up the big creature land, we can Atwara it. I mean, just drawing six cards with this Jace is huge. Huge, huge, huge. Opponent hits us. Or hits Jace. Surrender. Yep. Oh, and passes? Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, well, we're just going to do this again. Opponent, you will mill three. We will draw three. Wow, the four mana draw six Jace. Mill ya. Draw a bunch of cards. We don't have a counter to protect Malik. Well, let's play the Restless Spire. That could be helpful in the future. You know what? Let's play. Let's play a Malik. Casual 36 36. <laughs> it's a bigot. It's a bigot. Ill timed explosion for two mana. Sure. I mean, we can't counter that anyway. So we draw two. We will not discard anything. Gonna be close. 15 cards left in the deck. Our opponent can bash us with the creature land. And mill us. Yup. Hits us. Mills us. Ugh. We wanted that negate. We wouldn't mind a way to protect our Malik. A let we gotta not mill out. That's the big challenge here. Opponent goes up to 10. Well, let's consider. Intrude on the mind. I don't think we can afford intrude here. We don't have enough cards left in our deck. Okay, there's a negate. That's nice. That's very nice. That's huge. Huge, huge, huge. All right, so play the play the island. Play Melek. Burn down the house for devils. Melek's up to 50-50. If only we had a fling. Hit you with the devils. Bone it down to seven. Okay, Cycles Anders Lounge, that's fine. Oh, can we close this out? Kaya. Well, uh, we are going to definitely negate that. Oh, okay. No counter. No counter. Is that game? Untap. Atwara. Bounce the bat. And opponent scoops it up. Opponent scoops it up. Wow. They actually stole all of our flings with deadly cover up and we still got there. We got the fling kill in game one and then game two, we just out controlled the control deck. Wait, is Malik busted? Is Malik actually, maybe Malik's busted. <laughs> sweet, 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 sweet. 52, 52 easy like we're not doing anything special to grow the melic we're just like playing what our deck wants to do and like casting spells and drawing cards and it's it's huge and the cost reduction maybe melic's actually good against the odds time we are trying to combo off with melic of all things in a new standard playing some melic fling wombo combo and uh sounds pretty good i mean we don't have any melics or any flings but we got a bunch of card draw and the sweeper eventually Let's see what our opponent's up to zeph remember that ninja song <laughs> i'm a ninja wasn't that the style of music of that song wasn't it called zeph does anyone know what i'm talking about am i making this up the I, 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 I am your butterfly. I need your protection. Be my samurai. Um, that song. Wasn't that Zeph? Isn't that the style of like South African music? Is our opponent mono red? They might be mono red. And truth's really good, but it's a lot of mana. What are we doing over the short term? Ugh, all these pain lands. Yeah, let's, you know what? We're going to discard the thirst. I think that's fine. Discard the thirst. These two intrude on the mines are expensive, but once we get to them, they're so good. Oh, this is what they're doing. Oh god. Gleeful demolition. Can we survive to the burn down the house? Oh, they do have another land, okay. Consider. So painful. Well, ouch, consider. Keep the island. We do need the land, and it's not painful. Play the land. Oh, we're still two turns away from wrathing. That's so long. That's so long. There's a white man opponent goes to combat opponent attacks. Well, I mean, I think we gotta bounce a goblin as bad as that feels. 
Keep the storm carve goes. Well, we got the mana. Do we live long enough to enjoy it? Bona hits us down to 12. Oh, that's not great. Bunny corn. Okay. Yeah, that's that's bad news. That's very bad news. Consider the gate's not gonna do it here. So Kinzan. Oh, four, five, six, seven. We might just be dead. Well, we have Brother's Hood ends in the sideboard, which gives us a faster sweeper for this matchup. So this might be, uh, I don't know. This might be a tough matchup. We'll see. Opponent smacks us. I'm glad they didn't have a follow-up. Well, I mean, maybe we have a chance. Burn down the house, sweep them. Okay, okay. Oh, resolute reinforcements, opponent. I'm surprised they didn't run that out to get through more. <laughs> okay, so opponent. Yup, yup, yup. Yup, yup, yup. Well, the wrath five mana is too slow. We have ill-timed explosion. We didn't find it though. So brothers had end in for sure. Negate's bad. Even make disappears pretty bad. We can bring in like. Do we want the braid or the flame bless bolts? The question. I mean, we definitely want removal. Are they bringing in like? Or a Brass Forge? Is that a thing this deck might have? Uh, we can also go down the Otherworldly Gaze, I guess. Let's go with Braids. I think that's fine. Target of removal is a little bit sketchy against this deck because they just go so wide. We really need the Sweeper. Burn down the house, great. Like, it resets the board. We just, we took too much damage off of our lands because we drew every, all pain lands for that game. Uh, so we took a lot of damage off our lands and then we just uh, turned too slow to actually get the Sweeper down at five mana. Well, you get to play first. All right, we have Brother Soden, which is good. So unless our opponent has the absolute nut draw of like turn two Night Air to Mios, which is their, that is their nut draw. It requires a lot to go right, but it is possible. This Brother Soden should be really good. I think we'll keep the ill-timed explosion for sweeper number two. Found it, tap land. All right, we're not getting nut drawn. Uh, well, so can Zan go. Hold on to the basic in case we get to uh, thirsted away opponent mountain and passes. Well, play the island and pass the turn. I imagine they're resolute reinforcing here. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. Well, we're going to sweep that away at some point. Opponent mountain. And all right, there's a night errand of Eos. Uh, of Eo, so we will thirst. Wow, no lands. Oh, that's actually, wow, that's unfortunate. We probably, hmm, wow, that's so bad for us. Discard you and discard you, I guess. Oh, okay. Well, now we really need to draw land. I hadn't really considered the possibility of us just hard whiffing on lands there, but we did. Yeah, I guess we consider for a land. Oh, we're not gonna find it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wow, we are... Oh, we are low rolling in this one. Oh no. Our hand is so well set up for mm, just wrecking this deck, but not without lands. So our opponent had the turn three Nightmare of Eos draw, and we cannot find land number four. We drew a lot of cards too. That is unfortunate. Well, all right, opponent runs out the front liner. All right, we're gonna we're gonna bounce that. Descry for a land. That's not a land. Why are our lands? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Thirst. Do we just have like three lands in our top million cards? Hey, look at that. Lands. Likely too late now, unfortunately. Because we're taking so much damage. So I think decent chance, uh, decent chance that. Missing lands for those two turns just makes us die here. Because the problem is they have, like, the bushwhacker effects, right? So if they get us low enough, they can just haste... They can haste stuff in to get in the last few points of damage. Or they have, like, epicures. They might have lightning helix now. So the fact that we're going to take this additional... These two additional hits because we miss these land drops... Rather than being at 20, we're going to be at like 7. And that means it's going to be relatively easy for our opponent to kill us with haste creatures. Even through our, uh... Through our sweepers, unfortunately. The good news is Melek's getting big. Oh, there's a Kellis Cell Sword. We're actually not that far away from winning with Melek, honestly. Well, uh, burn down the house. Sweep him. No! <laughs> <laughs> wow! And they 
getting snapped off. Good game. Well, that's uh, Zeph skin is Zeph. Zeph skin is Zeph. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, it's basically what we said. The turn where we drew like five, ten, half of our deck didn't hit a land drop. That was pretty much the game on that one. Uh, against the odds time, we are trying to uh, Malik fling fools in new standard. Throwing some, throwing some Malik's at our opponent's face. No big deal. Malik gets so big so quick. I think that Malik, like, so it's the, of course, I don't even know if we want a sweeper here. I mean, yeah, we're going to go graveyard. We don't know what our opponent's doing. Burn down the heist is not how heist. Burn down the house is nice because uh, it can make devils if we don't need the sweep, which is relevant. But yeah, Malik has actually very, very much surprised me. It gets incredibly big, incredibly quickly, and the three mana discount it gives on spells is actually way better than I thought. It does a little bit. Remember to fairy hero of dominaria? How you like play it and then it untaps your land, so so you get to. Uh, protect it malik kind of does that because you can like play it with an extra mana and that reduce the cost on a counter spell enough that you can you can cast the counter to protect it yeah i guess we're just gonna keep intruding we'll get to uh we'll get to five mana eventually let's play another thundering falls yeah you know i actually think we keep that we're not really doing anything next turn so we can just like etwara shield it or something An opponent or a Gix. Gix also counts. Well, play the land past the turn. So we bounce the Gix and then start intruding to to hopefully get our graveyard full enough for the combo kill. Well, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna bounce that real quick. No card draw for you, opponent. Gleesa. Well, we are gonna need a sweeper at some point. Play the land. I don't think we want a Melek yet. I think it's better to wait here. Next turn, we can potentially protect it with Negate. I mean, can we get our graveyard full enough? Ah, oh, Melek's only a 4-4 four, four right now. We still need a decent amount of spells in the graveyard. We probably need a couple of turns. This isn't bad, though. So they play the Gix. We intrude. Yeah, let's do it this way. I think they give us the four. I don't think they let us take the ill-timed explosion. And we still get a chump blocker, so our opponent's not gonna get to draw to you. And then Malik gonna start growing. And Shrewd's actually so good. This card's really good. So they do give us the four. We get a one-one. We block the Glissa. This does mean we still kinda need a, a sweeper. We draw a big score. We're gonna play Malik. And Stormcarve Coast. Big score discarding a thundering falls past the tur with a negate at the ready to protect that's fine about it they do get to get in and draw wow they don't even attack okay we'll just untap then if that's how we're doing it now uh, let's uh let's burn down the house yeah i mean burn down the house uh damage sweep them malik survives Thirst and op ah! opponent cannot beat the Malik. Can't beat the Malik. <laughs> Wait, is this so? This is one of the buy a box promos, right? This was one of those super weird, like it's a promo, but you can't really play it. Is it made for commander, but it's legal and standard? I don't really know what this card is for. I assumed it was supposed to be a commander card, but uh, it might actually be a standard card somehow. It, it is impressing me. Shockingly, shockingly so. Well, let's bring in a bit more removal. We'll go down otherworldly gaze. I think we go down the make disappears. We saw we saw our opponent playing Cavern of Souls, which is pretty good against make disappear. Let's go two brothers it in. Let's run it like that. I think three might be might be excessive. We saw a lot of things it kills in that game, but we know they also are probably playing Shieldreds and who knows what else on the top end. Well, I mean. <laughs> Malik, the best Malik ever. I'll give it that. That much, that much I think is clear. Well, I mean, we're gonna keep this. They didn't even see the combo last game, so they might not be prepared for it. I do kind of wish we had a better fling. <laughs> right now in standard, our options are Kala Sellsword, which is only one mana, but can be fizzled by removal and is awkwardly not a spell, uh, which is kind of weird with Malik, not that it really matters. Or there's like a four mana fling, which is, that's just way too much mana. Although, Malik does reduce the cost, but still, it's, I think it's worse. We're going to keep this. We're going to trust in our considers to find us our manas. 
on the upside, Kalos Elsor doesn't get got by duress, which is actually a thing after sideboarding against these black decks. So the entire combo is duress proof. All right, opponent with the tap land. Well, we will island go. Fading Hope's not bad, actually. Passing. Well, let's consider. See if we can find a land. I mean, literally any non-land going to the graveyard here because we got to hit. Okay, there's an island. That's good. And another Melek. Well, play the land and pass the turn. Boo, Zeju and Gix. Well, let's consider. Keep the land. Do we want to bounce Gix now? I guess. Let's bounce it. Yeah, we'll keep the Fading Hope. It's not a land, but I think it's necessary because it does let us bounce this Gix again. We do need to find one more land. Once we get to the big score, our land issue should be over. What's Malak at? Up to an 8-8 eight eight already. It's why, like, we haven't done anything special. We're just casting our casting our spells and Malak's already a 5-8-8. Eight eight. Gonna be a 10-10 for sure. Once the Fading Hope comes down. All right, there's Gix again. Oh, come on, let's hit a land, let's hit a land, let's hit a land, untapped. Ill-timed explosion, gotta go bottom. Land, untap land. Oh, oh, that's bad. That is bad. We really needed that one. We really needed that one. All of our problems were about to be solved, but uh, unfortunately, now we have problems again. All right, Scrap Gorger, rather than Gix. Oh, there's the land, so play the land. I guess Scrap Gorger does shrink Melek, doesn't it? I'd rather have this down than the Gix, though, because this does, doesn't even have power, so Gix doesn't even draw a card yet, and hopefully we can big score into, like, a sweeper. Question's gonna be, what do we discard? Well, big score. Discard a Melek. I think it's worth it since we have two of them. Oh, there's an Intrude. That's not the worst. Oh, there we go. Uh, well, we will Brothers at end. Three damage to each. Not letting your opponent drop this Gix is huge. And now they only get to exile one card with the Scrap Gorger. They should just hit a spell. Yeah, they exile the big score. That makes sense. That does shrink the Malik. Tamio's safe. Well, okay. Um, we're going to negate that. Get rid of the Gix. Thundering Falls, do some surveilling. Uh, how close are we to actually lethal? 14. Opponents at 20? Uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just keep the consider on top, that's fine. We need like two turns. And wouldn't mind another negate. Ooh, opponent, big Glizza. All right, all right, all right. Well, that's a clock. Oh, if only we could win this turn, but we can't. Consider, keep the island. We'll just pass. So the question is, can we get our opponent tapped down? That's the question, because they can stop the fling kill with the removal. So we would like to find a way to tap them down. I don't know if we can do it. Opponent turns on their incubate. It's going to get in for nine-ish, although we do have intrude. So fading hope. Yeah, let's do it that way. So this means we're going to get a bounce spell for sure. And we get a 3-3, three, three, which can kill a 2-2. Two, two. Malik up to up to 20. Opponent. Sure. Do we block bounce the Gliza? Probably. Actually, we can wait, right? Let's just wait. We untap, draw another fading out, play the Shivan Reef. I mean, I think we just gotta bounce the Gliza. Make him pick it up. We just need our opponent to tap down. Like we have, we have the lethal combo set up. We just want to make sure our opponent doesn't have a removal spell. Rest, really? Well, let's bounce that, I guess. Yeah, we'll keep burning down the house. And it, okay, I mean, we're gonna go for it. I don't think they can fizzle it with one mana. I don't think there's a one mana removal spell that can kill Melek, so that should be game. Opponent passes. So, do we big score? One, two, three, I guess it doesn't matter. Melek, and Fling, and good try, Golgari. <laughs> Got him. Got him. And this deck might actually be kind of good. <laughs> No one expects the Melek Flick. No one expects it. It is wild how big this card gets. It's really wild. Well, uh, we'll take it. Sweet, sweet, sweet.
against odds time. We are doing some uh, Melic flinging, and we can keep this, right? We got Consider. Consider, consider takes away all life's problems, hopefully. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, we better, cons if we don't consider into a land, I'm gonna be so sad. Consider, ouch, and okay. That's actually really good. Not only a land, but a surveil land, which should help us find another land. Well, we're gonna mill that Melic super quick. I mean, we should be okay now, right? We have the chart, of course, as long as it doesn't get countered. Ooh, schooner. That's not a land. Chart, of course. Hmm. Yeah, let's just discard the gaze. I feel like Demir might be a tricky matchup. I feel like this deck, so we can beat counter spell decks. We can beat decks with a fast clock, but counter spells with a fast clock might be tricky. Are we getting batted? Burn down the house, that makes sense. Yeah, this boat's gonna be an issue. Uh, our deck has a lot of RAS, but the boat survives the RAS. All right, we get schooned. Oh, kicks on top, no. We really gotta draw land here. Oh, feeding hope, okay. Well, that is not a land. It does mean we don't get Hmm. Yeah, this is just bad. There's the Gix. So I guess we gotta bounce the Gix so our opponent doesn't draw, but that's still really bad. There's a land. So we get to... I don't even think we gaze. Maybe we should have gazed first. I guess just waiting is fine, too. Gaze is just a one-of. Well, play the land. We're gonna big score right now while your opponent's tapped down. Hate discarding the... Uh, the fling, because now our opponent sees it. If you see a fling in your opponent's deck, it's definitely suspicious. <laughs> no one... Yeah, now we get Gix wrecked. The snowball has begun. This deck's like snowballing in multiple areas, right? You snowball the Gix and the maps from the schooner. We need more schloops in Magic. Why are there no schloops? We got schooners, but we need a schloop. <laughs> Just because it's a fun word to say. I don't even know what a sloop is. I know it's a boat. I know so little about boats. <laughs> I know that there's a Beach Boy song. Actually, uh, Shloop John B. One of the best Beach Boy songs, I think. I will say, I, I don't listen to the Beach Boys very much, but Pet Sounds kind of blows my mind as we scoop this up. I'd rather talk about Beach Boys at the moment than <laughs> get geeks rolled. Uh, but yeah, if you ever want to listen to some 60s music, the harmonies in that album are so good. Mm. The songwriting's good, the harmonies are good. It's definitely 60s, right? You can tell that it's 60s, but I think it stands up a bit, that album. That's only Beach Boys album I actually really know or like, but. Uh, so we're gonna bring in some more removal, bring in the brothers at end to deal with the Gixes. Seems like a tricky matchup. Tricky, tricky matchup. Well, all right. Turns out playing good creatures back by counters and removal leads to good magic decks. Who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, we will play first. And, I mean, technically we got the whole combo. We need, what, 10-ish spells in the graveyard, which we can do pretty quick with this deck. We got Thirst, we got Big Score. If our opponent just doesn't interact with us or kill us for a little bit, we got him. <laughs> it's over. Well, opponent did nothing. Ooh, I like the Intrude on the Mind. That card's been very impressive. Well, fairy A. Let's uh, get thirsty here. Discard a island. Flame Blast Bolt is good. Oh, Gix. Uh, we're getting Toskied. All right, opponent draws a card. So we need to big score to make sure we can burn down the house next turn. Uh, it's so awkward. I wish we could flame bla bla bless bolt first, but I think we got a big score <sighs> Yeah, let's discard the fling Discard the fling we hit our land drop which is important opponent gets to draw which is awkward sack a treasure get rid of the fairy Yeah, opponent's drawn a lot of cards already so we hit our land drop for next turn and we have enough mana that we can intrude or burn down the house Okay, definitely burn down the house I mean, maybe we got a shot here. So opponent hits us to 15. They get to draw another card with a gig. They gain life when she Uh, We drop to 13. And we got to just burn down the house. Get rid of... Get rid of both. So problems dealt with for the moment. Play the tap land. And now hope... Like, 
We got a bunch of bomby five drops in our hand. We'll see what our opponent does. These intrude on the mines. Oh, all right, that's not ideal. Intrude on the mine does work through shield red, but I guess we got to do it now. I'm so worried about the counters. Yeah, let's intrude. Thirst, we really need the ill-timed explosion. Maybe something like that? We don't need another Melek. We got Melek's for days. More Melek's than we could ever possibly use. I imagine they give us the Melek pile, I would think. Maybe not. Ill-timed explosion can wrath away the shielded, but okay, they give us the wrath. The downside of this wrath, though, is uh, we do have to draw two cards to be able to use it, which is normally good, but not at the moment. All right, more schloops. Maybe I just called it a schloop. That solves the problem, right? They don't even got to name the schooner a sloop. I'll just... <laughs> I'll just call it that. A boat's a boat. Uh, consider A. Well, uh, we don't really have a choice. This is a tough spot. So we have to, Ill we gotta get rid of the children. So we have to ill-timed explosion. Ouch, ouch. Discard a Malik. Discard a big score. So this gets rid of the children, but we drop to five and they got the boat. <sighs> We might still be dead. We do have the Abrade that can try to get rid of the bowl. Oh no, you got flash creatures? Flash creatures, not good. Opponent drew a lot of cards. That's the thing, like those extra cards off Gix, they add up. That's what we're seeing now is just like the extra cards they managed to draw from the Gix are coming back to absolutely haunt us here. So opponent's gonna crew the boat and then we're gonna try to Abrade it and hope they don't have a counter. And if they do, maybe be dead. Uh. We knew that was a possibility. Yeah, it turns out fast clock plus counters. Oh, and there's a go for the throw. Okay, they mill it. I mean, our only hope is we somehow just jank them out with the combo, right? We have to just like draw the fling. Our opponent have nothing. And we just Malik fling them. That's like our one sort of realistic hope. I mean, we gotta go for it, right? The problem is we're one short. So what we have to do if they don't have any removal, we win. So we can play the Melek. Melek gives our first spell a three mana discount. So it makes our braid cost one mana. We can abrade the Shloop. <laughs> or the Pirate, I guess it doesn't really matter. We just need one more spell in the graveyard to grow the Melek. But we need the Melek to not die here. If they kill it, oh, about it. Ah, and now we're dead to literally anything. Like take Numa. Well, we almost got him. That's a tough matchup and we almost got him. All right, against odds time, we are throwing uh, more Meleks at our opponent's face here, doing some more Melek flinging in new standard. And well, we got a Melek and an intrude. Not the fastest hand I've ever seen, but hmm, I'm gonna have to reevaluate the rest of these buy a box buy a box pre-release i think they're pre-release promos how can anyone keep track of where all the magic cards come from today i think they're pre-release but i might have to reevaluate the rest of these i was thinking they were meant to be bad but uh malik malik might actually be good Ooh, opponent or zoving a i mean it could be esper probably esper oh double intrude we're in kind of a good spot here. We get to thirst this turn. We got a little removal and fading hope, and then hopefully we just start intruding. Oh, that's actually bad for us. Wow, we didn't even hit a land. Okay. Uh, well, we got intrude on the mines for years, years and years. The negate's a little late. Would have been nice to deal with this forge. Okay, now I'm actually kind of scared. Do we just die to this forge? We might just die to the forge. Pwn it. Hits us. Down to 19. Ooh. Okay. Just kidding. We might be fine. <laughs> that is that is the fling to go with the Melek. Three spells in the graveyard. So Melek's a 6-6. Six, six. But between these big scores and intrudes. Ooh, boy. Adeline. All right. Well, we're gonna big score, discard an intrude. Get some more spells in the graveyard, draw some lands. We might live long enough now. The question's gonna be, do they have removal? But if they don't have removal for the Melek, we might actually just survive this beatdown. We might be able to get Melek big enough to win next turn. Cause we can big score and intrude on the mine. LSL core, okay. 
We were hoping to get some surprise value out of this intrude, but let's uh, big score discard an intrude. Double Fading Hope's actually kind of excellent. That might actually be game-winningly excellent. <laughs> Come to think of it, uh, bounce the bat. So opponent is going to gain life. We can also bounce this Adelaide. So we're going to gain life, which means we need an extra spell in the graveyard. Malik's up to 16. Oh, if we can consider mill a spell, 18, 18. So if we consider mill a spell, we have lethal. If it's a land on top, that's a little awkward. About it. I guess we could also intrude on the mind if we needed to. Well, we draw the consider. Let's just hit a spell. We don't even gotta think about <laughs> don't even gotta think about it. Make disappear. Ooh, alright, to the graveyard. And it is Melek fling time. Uh play the land, play the Melek. 22, 22, and how about a little flinging? <laughs> <laughs> this is almost too easy. This is almost too easy. Uh, maybe this deck's actually kind of good or something similar. Like the plan is really working. Well, let's bring in some ways to deal with artifacts like Brothers of N and a braid. Uh, the Erebrass Forge was very scary. Thankfully, in the end, it didn't really matter. But uh, we could definitely lose to an Erebrass Forge. That is a card that could beat us. Well, do a little trimming. Most of the sideboarding is either trimming or like taking in and out counter spells, depending on the matchup. Because of Cavern, some matchups counters are just not that good. Or just aggro. Even without Cavern, like Mono Red, what are you going to do with your counters? Well, all right. We got a counter. And some card draw on a Melek. The other thing about Melek's that's kind of funny, which it depends on the matchup, but like some decks just cannot kill a Melek. Like green decks or red decks really just don't have a realistic plan for killing Melek. So sometimes we can just run Melek out and and just beat him down. And we're like, okay, here's our five mana 12 12. Like, can you deal with it? Wow, okay, we're gonna definitely counter this Urbras Forge. Do not see much Flesh Taker, although I do feel like Flesh Taker is kind of underrated. Yes, it's one mana to sack something, but it's still a reasonable creature. And you get some scrying out of it. It's it's not the worst sack outlet. Down to 16 and ooh, Downy. All right, all right, I can respect that. We're gonna discard the land. Between Charter Course and Consider and another Surveil land, we should be able to find our lands. I think Delny is actually like, it's one of those cards that you just don't even realize how much it actually does. I kind of want the big score, but it's too greedy, I think, to keep it. I think we just got to go graveyard. Plus, graveyard does grow Melek. Our opponent's a black deck, so they probably can kill Melek or have the, they have the possibility of it at least. Delny though, it's one of those interesting cards. So you think about it like a ETB Panharmonicon effect, but like, Flesh Taker sacking something is going to be an ability that triggers, so it's going to double trigger. Like, this land has an ability that triggers so many things attacking ETBs, sacrifice. There's so many different ways that it actually triggers that I think we need to kill the land. Anytime you get a chance to snipe one of your opponent's lands, it feels good. Turning into Braid into a sinkhole. Yeah, so opponent gets double Flesh Taker triggers, thanks to Downey. Yeah, all right. I mean, we're in pretty good shape still, though. I think. We would like to hit a land here, but... Oh, all right. Or a brother sedan, that's also... <laughs> that's also kind of fine. We can keep that and just sweep, and then hold on to the, the second sweeper for the future. So we take our beats down to 10, but opponents tapped out. Yeah, we draw the land anyway. Yeah, play the land. I guess we chart a course. Are we discarding another Wrath? I think so. Discard a Wrath. I mean, how many Wraths do we actually need here? So we have the board with Brothers at end. We have another Wrath and we have Melek left over. The other cool thing about Melek is it survives all these damage based sweepers. So we can play Melek, sweep, get rid of the blockers and just smash ya. I will say our opponent's deck seems kind of spicy. I like, I like what our opponent's trying to do over there. Not enough to avoid flinging them to death, but I do respect the, the Delny synergies. But I'm not gonna gain a couple of life. We'd have double Melek. Let's just intrude though. I think intruding's probably better. But it's only got one card in hand, so I don't think we have to sweep yet. Plus intrude makes a, a flashy blocker here, potentially. 
Any opponent attacks. Well, we're gonna intrude. We definitely want a 3-2 split so we can kill the Delny. Like, two spells versus lands in one spell? We don't really care, honestly, which direction our opponent goes here. That's the thing that's impressed me about Intrude the Mind. People think of, like, reverse factor fictions as bad, but... In reality, the fact that you're getting a blocker out of it really changes the equation. Like, sure, we maybe didn't get our best cards, but we just, like, sniped their best card, and we drew three cards. Kind of, kind of ridiculous. Now, play the land, and actually, let's just thirst. Thirst first. I think we're just going to try to set up the actual combo kill. We could run out of Melek and hope that it lives, since we have two of them. Are we feeding hoping, or are we discarding the hand size? Yeah, let's let's just bounce it. Land to the bottom. I mean, we basically need a fling. Our graveyards, our graveyards getting nice and full. So Malik's gonna be lethal. We just need to find the fling. About it, Lunark veteran. Er, Abrask's forge. Yep. Well, I mean, we can brothers it in that away. Opponent hits us down to eight. Opponent is up to twenty-five. Doesn't really matter, but it might slow down the kill by a turn. Let's bump the Urbrask forge. Don't really care about the soul sister. And now we get to intrude too. Ooh, flesh taker, okay. Gains a life. I mean, put us down to one card. Can we find the fling? No. Intrude, hmm, this is kind of interesting. Intrude and land versus? That seems pretty good. See, this is another situation, like, if we get intrude and land, that's fine. If we get two considers and a sweeper, that's fine. And we're getting a 3-3 out of this that gets a block. Like, Intrude's a ridiculous card. It's actually, like, a really, really good card. Bound it. Got a sack. Get some triggers. That's fine. It might be... It might be Malik time. We'll see. Ooh. Okay. Well, I mean, now we know our opponent's out of blockers. If we find the fling, we just win. Make disappear. Bottom. It's not a fling. Fling? <sighs> okay, more card draw. We're just gonna keep waiting. It's probably safe enough to run out of Melek, but... Virtue. Come on, fling, fling, fling. Well, intrude and land versus... <laughs> Opponent's up to 29. I just wanna find... If we can just find the fling, we just win literally win the game. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the Melek is absolutely massive. We just can't find the fling. Well, we get a 2-2. Two -two. We get some more cards. We got a... Bunch of four mana draw twos in, in hand. Is this virtue? I mean, we can't really stop it, but how bad is the virtue? Not that bad, actually. They don't have anything too bomby. We draw land. Well, let's draw a couple cards. Dis eh, no reason to discard. We actually don't want to discard. Well, let's fire up the creature land, I guess. Get in there. Do some scrying. A braid to the bottom. Where are our we have drawn a lot of cards. I can't believe we haven't found a fling yet. Well, surveil. Shiv and Reef to the graveyard. <laughs> Where in the world are our flings? Well, okay. Discard, discard. Now there's not really much of a... Well, I mean, I guess we could still win by attacking with Malak. Maybe we're too focused on the fling kill here. It might be better just to run out Malak and try to win by beating down. With all these sweepers in hand, it's probably pretty realistic. It's just not as cool, though. Another flash taker, sure. And opponent is completely out of cards. Okay, opponent passes. Fling? No, not a fling. Can we just draw a fling? We didn't come here to win by beating down with Melek, although we're not above winning by beating down with Melek. It's actually kind of a kind of a good backup plan. Well, how about an ill-timed explosion? Still not sure about ill-timed explosion. I'm going back and forth at just how good it is. It's not, it is a nice additional wrath. I think it's worth than burn down the house though, overall. I think I'd rather burn down the house if I had to choose one. I mean, it's gonna get the job done here. Opponent sacking and sacking. And now we can just choose not to discard. Now that our opponent has sacrificed their board. Uh, play the island. Consider. All right. Big score to the graveyard. Still not a fling. Another Melek. All right. Whatever. We tried. We're just going to 
We're just gonna play our 50-50, your go. <laughs> we tried our hardest to find the fling. I guess we'll just have to win by beating down. So if Pony gets to reanimate, the problem for our Pony here is like, Yes, they can reanimate and do their thing, but burn down the house doesn't kill a 50-50. They need to top deck a removal spell, which they don't. I mean, I guess that can let them survive a turn if we don't draw fling. They can make something indestructible to survive the burn down the house. Although, oh, we have fading hope too. Yeah, but, well, okay. We don't even gotta think about it. Instead, <laughs> uh, instead, we'll just uh, bounce your flesh taker. I don't know what they could possibly do with this that would ruin our day, but it is a thing they could activate. And then, uh, how about 50, 52 damage? That seems like enough. That seems like enough. <laughs> Malik, Fling, Kalisel Sword. Yeah, you can make something hexproof and indestructible, but not your face, unfortunately. And, uh, <laughs> well, that's a Malik Fling. That's a Malik Fling. And this deck is oddly better than it should be. Like, very strangely better than it should be, but <laughs> sweet, we'll take it. So what do we learn this week about Malik Fling in Murders at Karlov Manor Standard? In the deck, it actually worked. I think the deck might actually be kind of good. So overall, I played 11 matches with the deck. I went seven and four, 64% win rate. So that's actually super solid, not just for an against the odds deck, but like for a deck in general. And the plan of like using Melek and then a fling to win the game actually turned out to be really realistic and really powerful. We got to see a ton of Melek fling kills. We also just got to see some like cast a Melek beat you down kills. One of the funny things about Melek is it is a little matchup dependent. The fling version doesn't really care. Like we can Melek fling anyone, but there's some decks that are really good at killing Melek, like black decks. There's other decks like mono red or green based decks that literally can't kill Melek. In those matchups, we can just kind of like play Melek as like a five mana 12, 12 that's gonna keep growing as we cast more spells. And it just like dominates the board. Plus one thing I really underestimated about Melek is the instants and sorceries costing three less. The first one you cast each turn, that's actually a pretty powerful full effect. It lets you like play Malik and have one mana left over and leave up a counter spell. It lets you do some sweet things where you're like Malik and then big score during your opponent's turn or intrude on the mind during your opponent's turn. So that mode is actually way better than I thought. So I came away from this. Well, I went into this, I should say, thinking this was going to be like super janky, really hard to pull off. And I came away from this feeling like Malik might actually be like a really strong, powerful card that might actually be pretty playable in standard. The other card that really impressed me, since we're talking about new cards, a uh, ill-timed explosion. Yeah, I still think it's kind of like mediocre. Like it's okay, but it's not great. We had that game where he needed to kill a Shieldred and having to like draw two cards and then discard them and take a bunch of Shieldred damage to kill the Shieldred actually kind of was really rough. But Intrude on the Mind, that card's so good. That card is ridiculously powerful. And we got to see that throughout our games. Almost every time we cast Intrude, we were really, really happy with it. The ability to cast it during combat and eat one of our opponent's attackers really strong chaining them together is pretty realistic where you cast one and it finds another one and you just keep going plus it's stocking our graveyard for melek so i came away thinking intrude on the mind i already thought it was good it lived up to its hype ill-timed explosion i thought it was mediocre and it ended up being kind of mediocre although it's pretty good in this deck because we just have the right setup for it and then melek i thought was going to be bad and it ended up being kind of absurd but anyway that's Malik Fling that's our first Murders at Carlo Manor against the odds thanks for watching everyone I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon looking for even more magic well check out the video where Phil and I played 60 commons versus 60 mythics to see who would win or maybe the one where you break down the complete history of the modern meta <laughs>